Hi, this is Prios, and today we do something very special. We look into an amazing high-stakes game on PLO 100k, so very, very huge game with a huge fish in there as well, and we will see how the big guys play and will also have a chance to analyze their game. I will use the PLO trainer to do so. That's this little nice program. If you see um, what is what this thing is able to do and want to have this as well to improve your game, no problem. This is um, linked below. Yeah. Anyways, this video is from BCP Poker Replays. Thank you very much for uploading this awesome content. Let's now jump into the action. This action, by the way, was played on GG Poker. Okay, let's roll it. Yeah, first the, the epic intro. Okay, that's not a recommended open from Biedermeier. That's also the spot of the table. And yeah, he's getting punished right away. But calls the uh, rebel anyways. Uh, what happened here? Uh, let's see again. Okay, he's donking to get it in. I mean, that's probably... Still minus a V because he's squeezed against a lot of people, so he's expected to have at least a little something. And I mean, you got a bit, I mean, you got the back of flush draw, you got the deuce, and you got the overpair aids. But this is in huge trouble normally. First, your opponent could have a straight against which you are almost drawing that. Second, um, often your opponent will have kings or aces against you are also um, drawing very uh, thin, so I think, yeah, but yeah, sometimes you will have a hand like this, so this is a very close spot, definitely. And not sure, I mean, what, what is better? Is it better to, to lead to get it in or to, to just check? Yeah, good question, next question. I, I mean, we don't know, but... Yeah, anyways, you should have gone all of the way pre-flop. You shouldn't have open raised. You shouldn't have called the squeeze. And yeah, now, now it's hard to get away with this potter stack ratio. And yeah, also, uh, Andras is also in a very, very tough spot. He only has a backdoor flush draw and four overcards. But yeah, I guess he knows how this dude is playing and that he's probably getting it in with like any pair and random stuff. So he's probably also not able to get away. Okay. Deuce on the turn. <laughs> Gives Biedermeier the check mark. Okay. I think this open is quite speculative. I think it's probably not an open, to be honest. Uh, let's see what the PLO trainer thinks about this. It's only... Oh, I think it's even getting worse if he has only 50 BB. But let's see. I think it's not an open, almost certainly. So... He has queen, queen, jack, nine, without any suits. Oops. Typing error. Uh, what is it? It's not an open. As I expected. So let's see if it's an open for 100 BBs. I think it's... Still not an open. Yeah. Is it an open with one suit? Then I guess it is. 100 pip clients, yeah it is. Okay. Moving on. It's also a bit annoying that you probably can't see the stack size of Peter Meyer. Uh 
Uh, in case it comes important, I, I will tell you. Okay, what happened here? Let's go back a bit. This is this this is played very fast. So okay, he calls. I guess he's getting excited about a hand like this because he has position on the mark of the table, and that's why he's opening it. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend it because yeah, you're getting in a lot of trouble opening hands like this. It's it's just not good enough. Okay, this is what he wants. Playing a pot heads up against. The mark of the table and he also hits quite well i mean he's a rep and yeah he's up against top pair and an open ender so he's getting crushed but he cannot expect to be crushed and yeah bitomai again leads out this is probably also not recommended to do this with this hand i mean he isn't it's not too bad but it's also not great i mean if your opponent, your opponent can have you, although, how hard can he have him crushed? I mean, a flush draw is definitely something you don't want to see. And yeah, I think leading is probably not the way to go. Although, let's, let's find out. So, we will have him raise on the cutoff as his range is obviously, is it even a raise on the cutoff? Let's find out. I mean, I hope this hand is a race from the cutoff, otherwise the sims will not work out. I mean, we also have to put this guy in the big blind, I think, because this is not playable from the small blind normally. So let's change the situation a bit and hope that this now works out. So let's make it this way. Why is a pot that big? Wasn't re raised, right? Or was it? And the pot seems way too big. Or maybe with anties and a full pot size raise. Yeah, that's that's probably the reason. Um, sorry, but I get confused. Board is ten, uh, king ten eight, king ten eight. Cool, got it. And let's download and see what Ace King Jack Nine is supposed to do here. Ace King Jack Nine. Does he have a backdoor flush draw? No. So let's just assume it is Rainbow. Although I'm not sure if he's defending Rainbow. Nope. Mm. So let's give him a club. Up, uh. mm. <laughs> bit, I'm a bit clumsy today, leading hands and stuff. So let's just give him clubs, eight cards, something like that. Why is it not showing anything? Is he supposed? To, he might not. He might be supposed to always free bet. Ah, uh, let's let's make this. We cannot make this worse. Oh, that's annoying. That's a three bet hand. Solver world. Hmm. Remove all this. Okay. Okay, we have got some other hands in here, but he's supposed to check, as I said. So leading is not the recommended way. If you have to um, make some adjustments that don't necessarily, um, yeah, are reflecting the real hands because yeah, we don't have all sims in the solver, and yeah, if he's three wedding this normally, then. It's not here in the sim. Okay, so he's only bending like this. A lot of hands here, and then he's supposed to check. 
which he did not do. Okay. So checking would be the way to go, but yeah, he was betting. So let's see what the reaction of Queen Queen Jack 9 should be. Queen Queen Jack 9 should sometimes call, sometimes raise. And it looks oh, this is this is like very weird. He's raising with nothing with no back doors, and he's also raising most of the time with the flush draw. So yeah, he's Basically indiffer indifferent between um, raising and calling once he's getting donked into. And let's see what he decides. Under us and Nemeth decides to just call. That's not a good turn. It's hmm. I mean, his opponent is crazy. And if his opponent does not have a king, but a draw, he has him crushed. So not sure if he should get away. Probably not against this opponent. Against the normal opponent, you might be able to get away. But against this dude, I think you probably have to go with it and hope that he has just a draw and not a king. Yeah, that's what he does. I agree with his play. He gets unlucky, having only 10% equity. And it's not a queen, so Biedermeier able to even increase his stack. He's not supposed to play this hand, but he does it anyways. And he's also not supposed to bet this, I'm quite sure, against three people. I mean, he's, he is having um, the second nuts but he's up against two people and there's not that much that can call him but i saying this i mean i also don't hate his bet but i think checking is superior to that um let's see what the solver thinks about this i hope we have three-way sims but we might so Let's figure it out. So, race, call, call, it is. Nope. Unfortunately, no sim for, for this. So, we have to do this without a solver. Yeah, I think it's, it's not that bad, but I think checking and keeping the pot small seems to be superior. Anyways, he bets, and yeah, Ronnie, PLO legend, by the way, who decided to slow play the aces because, yeah, he, w he wants to play a pot with Biedermeier, and it's also, these are also not the greatest aces. I think it's probably a bit better to raise them in this spot. This guy is, all, is not getting out anyways or it seems that he's not getting out that often yeah i think i would have re-raised because this is at least has a, um, a suit and he's certainly ahead against the buttons range especially as if he's as he's already probably also raising wider and it also doesn't play a great multi-way so i would have re-raised preflop now he's utilizing his blockers which i hmm what do I think about this? Good question. It depends. I mean, it depends on his reads on Biedermeier if he is able to fold a flush. If he's not able to fold a flush ever, then you should probably just let it go. But it seems like Ronnie thinks that he's able to uh, fold flushes. So uh, I also don't necessarily like the sizing he chooses 
I mean, he should do it in a way that he can get all in by the river, which you probably would also um, size it this way uh, with a real flush. So you have to plan ahead in hands to, yeah, to all, to, oh, you don't see the hand completely. Yeah, that's the hand. Anyway, so the only important part is that um, he has a ASI blocker, which you see, and yeah, it does not work out. Second nuts, he does not let it go. I mean, it's probably okay to not let it go. Oh, Boroni again with a very huge hand, and he puts in the four bed, which I like. Of Andreas Nemeth again, that's. A, a huge punt again. I mean, he wants to isolate the fish, but still. I mean, now he's all in with a crappy hand. And yeah, he, he cannot do much about it once he's 3 bad, but he should not have 3 bad in the first place, I think. Probably should just have folded. Because this hand, to be honest, sucks. And there are also two more guys behind him who might do anything. And even the fish have had, will have something strong some of the time. Ace is about 2.5%. So let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, John Ronnie sticks the rest in on the turn on the flop. I mean, pot to stake ratio is very small. Plus, he has a gut shot. This is a not not a bad flop for his hand. So nothing he can do there. And yeah, Biedermeyer, obviously. I mean, what the fuck is this dude doing? He open raises a hand that is supposed to fold, then he cold calls a four bet, and then he gets insanely lucky, but it's, this is just insane. This guy is, is, is crazy. Yeah, obviously the tens will eventually call. Look at this. Ronnie still has quite good equity. Let's see if he can get there. And it is a king, and he does not get there. Oh, this hand. He probably already lost it. Although this, in general, this is not the greatest hand, to be honest. But yeah, I think Peter Meyer is probably in love with it. I mean, no suit. I, this might actually be a fold, to be honest. Let's see if this is a fold. Um, so it's a huge... Race from here. Button calls. Call and a three bed and a fold and back to him. Ace King King Jack. Not even sure. Is this open raising? Yeah, probably it is. Ace King King Jack. Yeah, look at this. Ace King King Jack is supposed to fold. I, I mean, this is under normal circumstances and not in a GTO world this guy is obviously not playing GTO and this guy also plays to lose this time I mean I don't hate his uh, three bet here I mean he's playing against a hundred percent dude and another dude who's probably also playing a very wide range because he's on the button he will have position he wants to get in with the fish so yeah I don't blame him for this I am Curious what Biedermeyer will do now. I mean, his hand plays terribly. He's crushed very hard against aces. And even if he gets it in right now, he's not doing well against many things. But against his opponent's hand, he will do very well. But yeah, in general, this hand is not great. But I guess he probably sticks it in or something. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Constantine has to um, stay into the pot. This hand um, should do good enough against two people who probably have high pairs or high cut hands. Is he just calling or what is he doing? That's interesting. No, he just gets it in. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, no preflop equities displayed, but I think. King Queen Queen 9 is probably in the worst spot here. Okay. Yeah, King 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 <laughs> Andreas never almost dead. Biedermeyer or Konstantin, who will make it? 
It is at seven. And Biedermeier wins another huge pot. So he was able to build a huge stack with phenomenal plays. <laughs> a very short amount of part of time. Oh, he again is <laughs> hitting top set against another set. So this is another cooler and he probably will be able to get it in. He fast plays it. Can't blame him. And yeah, Ronnie, no way he can get it away. Although... It's not that great of a hand, to be honest. I mean, what is his opponent raising with Ronnie has to ask himself? I mean, he's, he was not that active with raises so far. And he could ra be raising draws, but Ronnie is blocking draws very heavily. Having two queens is blocking the straight draws. So his opponent is more likely to have a value hand. The value part of his raising range will have him crushed. Unless he's raising King Jack as well. But if he's only raising the other sets, Ronnie is in trouble. Okay, Ronnie is in trouble. And can he hit the deuce? Nope. Again, a hand that is not an open race. It's getting open raised. Wow. Best hand in the game. <laughs> Nice one. Uh, okay, this is. Let's see if he can destroy Ace Ace King King as well. Oh, that's that's insane! What the fuck is he doing? He's supposed to fold. Calling is better than. I mean, he's choosing. It seems like this guy is choosing the worst option always. I mean, this is an easy laydown, and if he does not want to fold because they are deep and he has position, whatever, he has to call, but not never re-raise. Okay, this guy now is woohoo, yoohoo, so much money in with my hand. And yeah, now <laughs> Ace Jack 10 3 has to go with it as he has top pair. And the pot to stack ratio is very small and he getting he's getting the correct odds. I mean, not that this guy is caring about correct odds, but yeah, easy call now. He has 30%. Now he is the favorite. And beam, he wins it again. Looks like GG is rigged. Nah, just joking. <laughs> this guy has an insane run. Okay, that's another very junky hand, but he should pull it. But instead, he's free betting. And now his good luck might stop. What the fuck is he doing? Okay, he has gut shot. A three that might be good. <laughs> and also top pair. But yeah, that's also not, not a hand you should play it this way. I guess Andras probably raises and they sort of they get it in or something. No, he's just calling. Oh, that's not a good card for um, Andras. But he will not be able to fold. As he has 9-9 as well. He's blocking... The potential straight, his opponent is crazy, so I assume he's either sticking it in now or going to call down. I mean, with not that much money left after his 75k bet, I think he should stick it in now because on the river something crazy might happen and that he's not getting the rest in case he's ahead. Yep, well played. 80%. Wiedermeyer also again hit a very good card for him on the turn because this is very scary for his opponent. And he also picked up a flush draw too. But this time he is cannot get in there. Cannot win, 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 win them all. Okay. Okay, again, limping in. Bad limp again with a very junky hand. Yeah, the, um, I, I like that Malinowski is trying to isolate and Malinowski hits. Very hard and Biedermeyer again with top pair, uh, with top two. So I expect the money to go in. And yeah, he he has a looks like if he has something that he's so excited about, he's always going to donk pot. Yeah, Malinowski probably just gonna race and win the hand, I guess. It's very hard to lose this one. 
that maybe Biedermeier can do it somehow. <laughs> okay, drawing that. Yeah. Yeah, can't win them all. Especially not with this style. You are expected to lose way more when you win. Okay, let's... Probably a double suited hand, which he will like, but it's also not a great one. Let's see if he's going to 3-bet. Yep, he is. I mean, probably also tilted from the cooler. Let's call it cooler, which happened before. Yeah, um, I like how he's playing his queens. He's blocking ace-ace. Biedermeier might be tilted some, uh, a bit. And yeah, this hand is definitely again uh, ahead of the range. And Andreas Nemeth also showed us already that he also does not have a very strong hand. So yeah, like the play. And yeah, it could also happen that Andras now gets pushed out of the pot if Biedermeier uh, goes back over the top again. Let's see what happens. Although, not sure if he will be able to get away. He probably is, because we don't see his whole cards. Yeah, well played. With some extra dead money in the pot. Getting it in as a favorite. And can he... Who is winning? Yeah. S. Mlhui does it. I mean, GG Poker has very high rank, and it's not recommended to play on uh, on these stakes where essentially the rake is 1BB per hand uh, at all if you play against reasonable opponents, but we, we don't have reasonable opponents here. I mean, there's one guy who's playing insanely bad, and I think it makes sense here to play. Um, yeah, and Ronnie left the table. Maybe he also was broke or something. This is... Insane. I will not leave the table if I have money left in this lineup. Wow. Wow. Wow! It's getting even more crazy. So Esmal Hui decides to slow play a very, very strong hand. I guess setting the trap and hoping that Biedermeier will go crazy again. And yeah, work plan works out perfectly. Nice one. And the king, king, king deuce. I mean, this hand should be folded in the first place. It's definitely better to just call, but he decides to 3-bet, and now he's calling the 4-bet. Well played, sir. Okay. Now the kings probably think that they are... But they might be ahead, because, yeah, he has, like, third nuts or something, but, yeah, obviously... He will get the bad news now. He needs a king. And that's not a king. <laughs> yeah. Looks like he's losing his huge stick as fast as he made it. Okay, Donkey Pot again, calling. These guys are very deep. Wow. I guess Biedermeyer probably is chasing some sort of draw. And yeah, Melhui, Melhui probably has a value hand and now still has the best hand and probably will shove it in and Biedermeyer is going to fold. That's my read on the situation. Unfortunately, no whole cards here. As we see, no showdown. Okay, again, uh, Konstantin should not open this hand. This is not not a good one. I mean, you are never um, ahead by much, even against a very crazy dude with this sort of hand, and you have five guys behind. I mean, one very crazy dude, true, but the other guys play sort of reasonable, and you got in a lot of trouble raising hands like this. So this, this is bad. It seems like the... Even the big dudes don't play that great. Okay, that looks like we are seeing another all-in. Rep against two pair. Yeah. That's expected. Oh, uh, exactly a coin flip. Oh, six is not a good card for Biedermeier. And the king is also not a good card. Okay. 
This open, I think, is... What the? I mean, he's like three betting every hand, but what the? <laughs> this is... This is... I mean, I'm not sure if, if it's even an open race, according to GTO. It probably is, but... Let's see if this is an open race. Yeah, also deep, like 200 VB deep. Should you open race Queen Jack Jack 9 from UTG? Queen Jack Jack 9. I mean, this is not this is not a GTO game, but yeah, it looks like this is an open if it is single suited. So good open, but never a three bet. I mean, this is also a hand that gets you in a lot of trouble if you expect your opponent to three bet way, way a lot. I mean, he's definitely not scared money. He's this is, yeah. I mean, also he can also. I mean, Sh Ashriner could also be trapping, as this guy is going bananas with every hand. So, this is close. It might be slightly plus EV, but the variance is huge. I I would be a bit scared with like more than 200k on the line. And now he checks. That's an interesting play. I, I definitely would not fold. I think this is still good enough. I mean, you have an open ender. You could be drawing that against a flush, but how often does a hand with like 100% three bet have a flush here? So yeah, I would not fold. The question is, would I check? I mean, he's, I guess he's trying to induce or something. Maybe he's, I mean, he's not folding as we see hold cards, but let's see what his plan is. Okay, check, check. He's checking again. Giving away more free cards. I mean, it's tough. Uh... Checking again. I guess this is getting checked down. And none of this. Yeah, but this is actually a tough, tough one. I mean, against normal opponent, this could even be a lay down if you face action, but against Biedermeier, oh, this would be so tough to uh, see bets from him. Okay, the good old, an another premium hand, Ace-996. Okay. Getting full pot. And yeah, that's an easy fold. King, Queen, Jack-7 without a flush draw is an easy fold for sure. For some reason, he decides that his hand is good. <laughs> okay, this is crazy. But I think once you called flop and hit the seven, you now have to um, continue calling. Or maybe even raising to get it in. But yeah, he should have pulled flop. And now this is very, very tough. I mean, his opponent can have so many draws. I mean, what are you going to do? Are you just calling? Planning to call almost any river? Or are you raising all in? Basically flipping against everything your opponent can have, but you can at least not make any mistakes on the river folding with the best hand. This is very tough. Oh. Hmm, I think I would just call and try to make good decisions on the river. But yeah, flop call is terrible. Uh, oof. Oof. River is also a tough one. I mean, what you gonna do if he bets? I think. Oh. I mean, the flush draws missed. He's probably not necessarily betting like two pairs anymore. So it comes down on half. He has 10 jack. Uh, 
I think... Oh. Does it make sense to, to, to call a bet on the river? I mean, it's probably getting check check, I think. But if you if he bets, this is a very tough spot. Yeah, but he he gets lucky and gets checked down because yeah, if he pays a bet on the river, this is whoa, this would be very, 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 very tough. So it seems like Biedermeyer is sometimes giving up, especially on rivers. So in this case, you could uh fold rivers. And also I think it also makes sense to fold this river with the read we didn't have before because many hands that bet flop and bet turn have showdown value and don't need to bluff. So I think this is a fold to, uh, if I think about it uh, a bit more. Um, am I covering many cards? I hope not. We got aces in the mix. Aces get in a lot of money. And yeah, most people hit an okay ish flop. I mean, yeah, Biedermeyer gets there on the turn. Flush. Okay, double suited. This is, he will never lay it down. Andros Nemeth playing again, very loose. But yeah, I understand. That he wants to get into the pot with this guy in in position. He decides to that he the hand is good enough to get it in. I agree. Over cards, flush draw, to the nuts, and also gut shot. Yeah, I like it. And he's also he also donked in the past with a lot of stupid, foolish stuff. And he gets it in with just. It's it's just an open ender, right? Open ender and back to flush draw on a. And this is this is this is completely insane. But he still has thirty percent. Now he has sixty two percent with the pair he hit, and yeah, straight on the river. Ching ching. Come back. Okay, this hand. Will, uh, will, oh, I think this, this might be a pre-flop all in. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's not recommended to get King King 5-5 five, five all in pre-flop for that much money. Unless. <laughs> I mean, it's never recommended, to be honest. And yeah, this time he's not getting lucky and Majinowski wins. Oh, this is like bottom 80% hand or something. Very, very bad one. And for some reason, he decides that it's worth four betting with it. And yeah, ace, queen, queen. Getting it in. 200 BB. Easy game against random junk. And can the junk get there? Yes. <laughs> no. What? Ah, okay. I misread the board. Two kings on the board. I mean, he made... He had like technical hit to bear, but it doesn't help against because his hand is counterfeit. Okay. Now the game is over. No, it's not. Biedermeyer still has some money in his account, so he reloads. Yeah, that's a hand. We might see some action. Uh whoa. Whoa. What what what? How does that much money? Got in there. Okay, he also posts that. Okay, he gets three bet. I mean, I think he probably should not open race because he's getting in a lot of trouble basically doing that. And his hand is not, not great. Against this guy on tilt, you have to call. And yeah, now it's very hard to get away. Yes, you have a gut shot, you have top pair. This guy is on Monkey Tilt. Although Mr. Monkey Tilt this time actually got a decent hand. And yeah, I mean, probably not sure open this against someone who is that crazy and with so many guys behind. 
Might even be a GTO open, but yeah, don't like them. I think it's not a GTO open. Yeah. He deserves that he has to give some back. On the flop, it was hard to get away, but pre flop. Yeah, that's that's a great play. That's just great. Trapping, knowing that this guy is free betting, any four. Great play. Love it. Yeah, well done. And now he can stick it in on every flop. Although, that's a very bad flop for him. But yeah. About pot size left. It's not great, but... What can you do against this dude? Yeah, he dongs. We get it in. Ah, oh, 50-50. And... Yeah, things would be much better if he wouldn't have played the hand before in the way he did. Because then he would only lo lost half the money. Yeah, anyways, this was unlucky. Okay, suited ace on the gun. Now the suited ace has top pair and an open ender. I guess the money is going in against the set. And can he get there? Nope. Oh, queen, queen. Expect a lot of money to go in. I... I I think at this stage of the game, Queen Queen is good enough to get it in, even for 200 VB. I mean, that's a huge gamble and huge variance there, but I guess it's the only way to play it. And yeah, now you have a good bluffing spot. You almost always have equity with your flush draw. 1.5 uh, this is a pot to stack ratio, so yeah, yeah, get it in, and yeah, we probably get it in. I mean, Peter Meyer has a gut shot and top pair, and yeah. Nemeth is blocking the straight and also has a flush draw. Queens as well, so yeah, we get it in. Peter Meyer, small favorite. And he is able to hold or not. They're making it very uh, exciting. Okay. Boom. Okay. This is getting a lot of money in preflop uh, as much as he can. Um, yeah. Looks standard so far. Yeah. Jack 10, 10, 9 now has to call and see flop. Okay, now we will get it in. Over pair and an open ender. Easy peasy. Um, what do I think about this um, donk? I mean, he's dominating many draws. This opponent has a rep with an 8 or 9 or a rep without a pair. He's a huge favorite. Um... No flush draw, that's also important for his hand. I mean, he's never doing that bad, I guess. But is it better, better to let Bida Meiler make his, his continuation bet? He was doing it relentlessly. But he's also not folding, so I think... I mean, you, you could also check, but yeah, I think I like the donk a bit more. It's about 50-50. And yeah, Peter Meyer again. Oh, Kings. We will see a lot of money going in. Although this is not a this is not good enough to forbet, so it's just calling. Oh no. <laughs> two, two big hands collide. <laughs> I mean, it's it's obviously a the kings with the guard shot is not that big of a hand, especially not with that much money left. But they probably get in a lot of money. Maybe everything on the flop already. This is not a GTO, but this is how this game is played. Yeah. I like it. I, I mean, the king-king is very um, 
I mean, he's already um, yeah. In, I mean, I mean, it's whatever. I mean, this is not recommended to play the hand in this way. Obviously, if you want to do something optimally, but he does it anyways, and he's not even that far behind, and he wins the pot. Cheers. Okay, he's almost at a million now. Uh, I think this might not be an open in a normal game, but against this dude, it for sure is. Uh, not good enough to forbid, so just calling. Your flop. Um, he bets. <laughs> what? Why is he betting pot? He's having nothing at all. He has seven, eight, and he's he has something. So he, Constantine probably is going to call. It wouldn't raise, but yeah, I, li I like if he calls. That's what he does. Oh, he has a straight. Oh, on a very dry board, and Peter Meyer picks up a flush draw as well. So he probably continues to bet, and Constantine might get it in and. Um, should Constantine get it in now? Question. Or should he let his opponent bluff? Now let's see what happens. So full pot. I mean, his opponent gives up on the river. Some of the time, at least. He is not free rolling. Although he is free rolling, but only with four outs. If um, his opponent has a nine and a ten, seven, eight jack, he's doing very badly against queen nine. And if his opponent has a flush draw together with a straight, he's also not doing that well. I mean, can he, as can he assume that his opponent is that crazy that he just has like a king high, king high flush draw? Yeah, maybe. Huh. I think he should probably... Should he just call or should he get it in? I think getting it in. He has some... Redraw outs. Yeah, I get it in. I mean, his opponent is crazy. Often you are against, up against, against the same hand, and sometimes you are up against some sort of draw, and you cannot fold any rivers. I think so. Yeah, I think getting it in is the way to go. Let's see what he does. Yeah. Peter Meyer calls. Nice. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's he actually is not actually not doing that well, uh, that bad because he has the draw to the nuts, um, to the nuts straight, and he also his flush draw is also live. But yeah, can't get there. What goes to Constantine? He's also having different three bet sizes, a small and a big one. Uh, Mel Hoodie, I would call bet. That's what he does. Getting called. Oh, that looks like firework. Peter Meyer donks is my prediction. Yeah, get it in. Mel Hoodie has to get it in. He has also the nut flush draw. Yep. Yeah, Peter Meyer actually is. Ahead, they run it once only, so this will be intense. Ooh, no! <laughs> oh, unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, like the open, like the call. Okay. Seven, eight. Nine, ten. Yeah, okay. Um, Melhui has a hand. Can stand a lot of heat. And this time, Biedermeyer actually got a hand. Straight. Not the nut straight, but a straight. So this will be some fireworks. Um, we are relatively deep. Mm, I think... Wow. 
Uh, I think Melhuri should just score. Oh, oh, this probably is costing the whole 200k left in Biedermeier stack. Yep. Yeah, uh, I will also just put it in. This guy is not folding. <laughs> He's just calling, okay? Uh, anyways, he gets the money, no matter how he plays this. Mm. Is this hand good enough to get it in? I mean, <laughs> not ahead that much against many things, but he could be behind a lot against kings or aces. But this also plays terribly um, post flop. So yeah, get it in. I, I say get it in and see what happens. He's just calling. Okay. Yeah, check back. Uh, oof, 20k bad. Yeah, so many draws out there. He did not bet the flop. I would call and see what happens. Yes, we have the best hand most of the time. He's raising. He wants to get it in. He's not willing to make any mistakes on the river. I think... He actually, this is actually a great play by him because I think any ace king would have bet the flop for pot as Biedermeyer is playing. So it wouldn't expect to be behind against a lot of stuff. Maybe against like 8 3, 8 deuce, deuce 3. But other than that, his opponent will have tons of draws and random bullshit like he has this time. Yeah, this is a great play. I, I didn't even consider this because I'm used to play against sort of normal opponents. But yeah, this is this is a great play. Yeah. What did we, did he get in the rest of the money? <laughs> he, he even gets in the rest of the money on the river or on, on the deuce, assuming that his king is good, and he's right. Right. Well, well played. I. I this is amazing how he played this. I really like it. Okay. Oh, Ace is in trouble. But yeah, Aces cannot get away. Especially not against this dude. I also like um, that he check raised, giving him the chance to hang him with to hang himself with some stupid bullshit. But yeah, he's it's unfortunate that he's yeah, that he's up in such a strong hand this time, but yeah, played it well. Can he get there? Ace or three? Yeah, it's a three, so Biedermeyer broke again. <laughs> yeah. Watch this lol insane video. Hey, this is really insane. Oh, I just recognized you probably cannot see uh, Victor Malinowski's cards. Uh, sorry for that. Uh, let me correct this. Uh, no. Should be a bit better. Okay, we missed the hand, so we have to go back in time. Okay, that's a terrible free bet. Um, I think he should forward and get it in. This hand is good enough. Although, what uh, the Constantine cold call or what happened? Is someone cold calling changes things a bit? Yeah, I think in this case just calling is fine because you don't want to be in a very tricky spot in the sandwich, very deep with one more guy as well. So then I understand that he's just calling. He's trapping here. Yeah, now get it in against the flush draw or some some bullshit. Yeah, well played again. Not recommend to get it in with such a hand like Peter Miner has again. And yeah, Queen Queen wins it. Okay.
Nemeth also gets involved a bit loose all the time, but yeah. Can't blame him too much with Edermeyer in the big blind. And yeah, now he will probably see a flop. No? What? This is this is crazy. I mean, I wouldn't uh, stick in all the money. This is this is just pure gambling. This is also not a head against many things at all. Can he push out Constantine though? By doing this, I mean, he might actually go away. I mean, I would find it very hard to go away with any hand which I played in this way before, because yeah, Nemeth was getting it in very light before and the fish is just crazy gambling. Yeah, okay. Maybe he's also a bit scared money or something. But yeah, I don't see me putting anything in this spot what I played before like this. I mean, you have to be careful what you do pre-flop, but... Okay, you chant for Bida Myers. Standards. Okay, just an open ender in the back door. For sure. Against top set. Should to top set just get it in? Or call? Because there's also another dude behind him. 5-7 is a possibility, especially for the big blind, who has a huge range in this spot. Yeah, I think just calling. See what the big blind does. And if it gets out of the way, then you can check race on the turn, on basically any turn. <laughs> okay, he's raising right away. I would have liked it more if it just calls. Open end like good enough. Uh, okay, Bidamaya now buying in for 200 big blinds. He's stuck, he has to chase. Ugh. This three bad. I mean, it's it's okay against Wiedermeyer. Is Ace King Jack Seven going for the four bad wall? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it obviously is. This is this is not good, but I think he has to go with it, and I think he sh sh oh. I mean, I don't expect him to slow play ever, so just get it in. Just forward, get it in. I mean, you're not pushing a huge edge, but anyways, get it in. <laughs> no, he's cannot do it. He's scared. I would have pushed it in pre-flop. Okay, now he has a very easy spot, but he is, yeah, it's, I like that he is slow playing it. I would have put more money in preflop because this also plays very bad unless you hit a straight. I also don't know Andras. Is he a rack or is he fish? Well, what is he? He's uh, doing some things that does not seem right. Okay, uh, Ace King Jack Jack is a hand you can't see. Uh, whoop. Yeah, Ace King Jack Jack definitely played it right. What is Constantine hoping for? I guess he's hoping for Bidamaya to catch something and get the rest in. Board is also very dry, so yeah. I think this is a good play. I think he sh I think um Bidamaya would have bet already if he has anything so i would check turn two also not sure if biedermeyer understands the concept of 
of a, a empty side pod, but probably not. They run it three times. Oh, tens. That's a monster. Yeah, pre flop all in. Easy game. Or not a pre flop all in. Flop all in. I wonder how. Um, I mean, this guy has definitely not won this money. So how do people get so much money deposited? This must be a very rich dude. This is Austria, right? <laughs> nice. Um, not sure what to make of this cold call. Does not seem <laughs> right to me. Especially against a shorty in the mix as well. Okay, nuts. Nothing. And okay, top pair and open ender makes sense. What is he doing? I mean, okay, he has a blocker. I understand. But where are other draws possible that are not folding anyways? And... The guy he's bluffing against has 6k left, so he's never folding ever. What the fuck is he doing? My god. This guy is having a lot of money to give away. This is insane. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be scared to play in this game, by the way, even for that which these amounts of money, I, I would participate if I would be able to. Okay. Bet three bet. Open already is also like, nah. Okay, uh, we see an all in. I also think this check is if you think about it, this check is very transparent. He clearly was trapping. He would have shoved all in anything else, but that is not that good. He's not check folding ever. But yeah, Biedermeyer does not see through it. Oh. These guys are also way deeper. I think this is... Is Ace-10-10-9 10, 10, good enough to get in? Constantine... Yeah, I think it's good enough. Also, it's... It's, it's uh, tricky for the other guys with different stack size. If Biedermeyer, for example, goes all in, there's probably 12k dead money more in the pot. It, 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 I mean, not necessarily, but it could be. Okay, flush draw and the tens. And uh, Constantine actually got all, out of the way. I, I, again, I don't understand. If you cold call the three bet, why the fuck are you not calling the four bet if there are two guys in already before that? This, this makes no sense. This is just badly played. Fuck okay. eh. What are these guys doing? None of these played great so far. Only Malinowski did did a good job so far. And Esmol, who also phenomenal play with his queens. But Er Schreiner also was doing fine. I mean, Ronnie also did fine before, but there are some other guys. I mean, it's not, not the toughest game in the world. I mean, even if you remove Biedermeyer, it would not be the toughest game in the world. Malinowski also is a No Limit Hold'em specialist. Probably not on the pot limit Omaha unless he did a lot of theory there as well. I wonder how this gets in now. I, and also, I predict Schreiner is now pushing from pushing all in and not checking like last time. Yeah, that's what I said. 
I mean, the seven is <laughs> it's not doing well. But yeah, probably he might have had the pot odds still as so much went in preflop. Mm, okay. Queen, queen, get it in. Preflop is fine. Okay. So far, well done. Ooh, queen, queen, not flush draw. Very good. We are not scared of 8 10. And even against A10, we got some equity, so we get it in. But how? Should we check? I think check raising is good, as your as Wiedermeyer showed the tendency to bet with any pair, any draw, any bullshit. And he might be scared if we bet. So yeah, check. Nah. Nah. I mean, this time we would get it in anyways, but I think checking is the superior play. Flush and yeah. Milhui. The guy who played best by far. Also has the biggest stack. I think that's not even an open. Uh, check through on the flop. Standard. Oh, I think uh, not not necessarily. I mean, he could bet the ace for sure. Um, yeah, I guess check check on the turn as well. Nope. Queen high flush Ross bets. I mean, I probably would not bet this as I expect my opponent to to have like an ace pot control -y type hand. So yeah, I, I think uh, I would not pot it. I would check again, but yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, now the deuce cannot expect to be good, but he blocks a 10. And he's also having like the bottom of his range, so I think it's okay-ish to bluff again. Although, is it okay? I mean, he... I'd bet the floor. Yeah, I mean, he, he can represent a, a draw. Bitch hit. Yeah, I mean, it's it's tough. But yeah, should definitely bluff here some of the time. Yeah, he's doing it. But yeah. Yeah, with, with a set, also blocking the straights. That's an easy call. You also, he also uh, showed, his hand also is very weak. He showed weakness all the time. So yeah, easy call on the river. Sort of standard hand. Played well by Woes. I mean, I wouldn't bet the turn, but yeah, whatever. Uh, oh, aces. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens. Uh, raise. Okay, re-raise. Okay, we get it in preflop or almost preflop. Okay, he checks, right? No, this time he's not checking. Okay, this. I mean, it would be very transparent to check, but yeah. Okay, he bets. He could get even forwards here, but yeah, I think I. At least he's not that transparent as I expected him to be. Seven is good enough for Biedermeier. Needs runner runner. Mm. Is that happening? Can he make the straight? Nope. Oh, this looks like fireworks. Yeah, I can't blame him for the three bad. This is okay ish. Mm. I might just call. I just call the f just call. I don't think there are many merits to get it in now. I mean, kings have you beat, aces have you crushed. You are not ahead that much against anything, so I would just call the forbit. Ah, I uh, misread stack sizes. He ha only has one hundred BB, so yeah, I think. It's fine anyways. Probably better to shove it in. 
if they are both deep, I would just call, but not deep. I think it's the better way to play this way. And yeah, needs an ace now. Can also make a flush. Nope, not happening. So, Biedemeyer, back. 200 big blinds. That's not an open. That's. Although, yeah. Hmm. Should I open? I think that's a bit too, too loose to open this one. Okay. Mm yeah, I got shot. This is tough. I guess call the flop. See what happens on the turn. Okay, now the money is probably going in. Yeah, the money is going in. I mean, Biedermeier thinks he has a nuts with two pair. No, what? That's, that's unexpected. I thought he would bet this. Yeah, Andreas Nemeth, clear value bet in my opinion. Wow. After Biedermeier checks... Can we actually value shuffle this one? Huh. Yeah, it's it's close. He's not able to do it. I also don't blame him. I think checking back is perfectly fine. It would get more money in preflop. He does not agree. He also hits uh, sets with queens always. Now I would get all the money in. He also just calls. I would have gotten all the money in on the flop already. Because I think Biedermeyer is just not folding any, anything. Okay, now he's... Got unlucky, all drawn, but yeah, still I would not fold. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a good way to play it. I would also play it the same once I check out flop. Twenty percent doc. Can he get there? Can he make it the full house? Nope. Oasis. Yep, a lot of money will go in pre-flop. That's what I predict. That's what happened then. Thing. Pair is an open ender. Over pair aces. Money is going in. Not much money left. Not too much to commentate about here. And this time the money goes to Nemeth. Things. Yeah, it's very uh, interesting. Three bet. Nemeth might even be four bet. Yeah. Uh, this is actually a tough spot for Shriner because if he's up against Aces, he is doing very, very bad. But Nemeth was very, very active. And played a lot more things other than aces this way too. So I think he has to stick it in. <laughs> oh, everyone stays in. Yeah. Once nobody was putting it in preflop. Good chance that the ace could be good. So yeah, get all in for the rest. I mean, both guys have almost nothing left. So, I mean, can Nemeth still fold? He needs a seven to make a wrap. And otherwise, it's looking very bad for him. Not even a bad vector flash draw. He might actually be still able to fold. 
especially if as his opponent also has aces quite a lot. I mean, he's playing quite tight, very tight, way tighter than everyone else. Only 23 VPIP. So I, I think the king 10 9 8 can still fold. Or should still fold. Can't do it. All money to our Shriner. Party. A lot of money flowing around. Oh, two people sitting out. Disco. She has. Oh, this was it. Yeah, this was fun to, to watch and comment. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it too. Hope you learned something. Like, subscribe, share. Yeah, signing out, but not before I tell you about my other channel. It's called Finance with Axel. And yeah, if you like this video, please, oh, good point here. Please watch this video next. Okay, until next time. Bye bye.